You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. What's going on, guys? Gary from the Third Rate Duelist here. Today, uh, I put up Blue Eyes for a while because this deck's kind of been hit and miss lately. So I thought I'd bring out a new deck. We're bringing out Invoked along with the Mech Knights. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, Triple Alistair the Invoker. Uh, you need him for your normal summon. Uh, Hardened Soul. Him and any Mech Knight is a two-card OTK going second. So really, really good. How's that two-card OTK going second? Uh, how about I just show it at the end of the video? Sounds good. And then for the Mech Knights, we go Triple Purple. He is honestly the best Mech Knight in the whole deck. During either player's turn, target one face-up Mech Knight. You control, banish it to your next standby phase, and then add a Mech Knight. And usually, off of him, you'll search blue, play two. Seen people play three of it, but he goes his effect goes dead quick. So I'm not a big fan of three. Two is right for me. Next we go Double Indigo. Uh, he helps put just more bodies on board, help link away, put damage, whatever you got to do to secure the win. Really good. Uh, one red and one yellow. Monster and back row removal. That's Can't really say anything about that. That's all they're good for. And bodies. Off to... Stuff that helps the... Uh, Invoke McKnight's Kaiju's plan is to go second deck, so you want to try and out your opponent's board. Kaiju's are one of the best ways to do that. Because you're playing a going second deck, Triple Ash Blossom and Double Veiler hand traps, you want to stop them as much as you can. That's it for the monster lineup. Just Kaiju's help out big monsters that hinder your gameplay and help you further your play. Triple Magical Meltdown, getting access to Alistair and saying you can't negate my fusion summons is legit. And since Konami's a bitch, you know, one terraforming. But we won't talk about that. Double Invocation. Alright, what rarity invocation is that, Gary? Uh, German ultis. I had to. Seen them on a deal. Had to get them. Along with the German secret. Very pretty. I love my Germans. But uh, 3 was way too cloggy. This is the heart and soul of the invoked engine. Without these, basically, the deck is nothing. Because it is nothing. And the last for the invoked engine, Book of the Law, OTK, for days. Next, we're going into some of the Mech Knight slash problem outers. So we got World Legacy Memories. Puts Mech Knights on board. Usually, uh, if you use this on your opponent's turn, you're going to summon Purple. Purple banish itself, add a Mech Knight, help further your play on your opponent's turn. Two Mind Control. T ganking your opponent's monsters is really good, and then using it as your Link Potter, superb. When, uh, changing it to three, I could see, but I don't have the room. I like my 40 card decks, so uh, I'll stick with two. Double Instant Fusion. Problem outer. You usually go uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict or Invoked Rasion, and then you just start linking away. Problem outer is a uh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, board wipe. Helps put Link Potter on your board. And then for revivals, playing two Succession and one Monster Reborn. It's really all you need. One Foolish Burial. That is for whenever I don't have access to Alistair but I have an invocation in hand which really sucks so I put Foolish Burial to send Alistair to get access to it so I can make more invoked plays. And then last but not least it's technically a 39 card deck because I'm playing Upstart because consistency is key. Yep. That's it for the main deck. Wouldn't change it but go ahead make some recommendations help me out. Double Alistair the Invoker of Madness. You only need one, but the second one is in case something happens to the first and you need to go into the invoke plays to help win. And then along with the OTK is one Almirage. Him, he's part of the OTK. You link Alistair off and then just go ham. Which is really, really good. Thanks, B, for the Almirage. <laughs> Double Morning Star. Uh, the second one is for the grind game because this deck, the Mech Knights can handle the grind game. Just. A lot easier than most decks out there right now. So, in case they get one, get rid of one, or you link it off, that you got the second for backup. 
one supreme spectrum uh card's really good just make him uh in the same alone in the column and then he's can't be the uh, he, he can attack directly if he's the only card in the column and if he doesn't point to anything uh he cannot be destroyed by your card effects or opponent's card effects and your opponent cannot target him so really good and then last for the mech knight links is avermax if uh, i can't go into him i usually go into him because memory says mech knights and if i end up on three mech knights He's my go-to. If I end up on two link four, uh, two link twos, he's my go-to. He's just a uh, cheap man's portal sword, pretty much. So both of those got to be pretty good for the striker matchup, though, because of the non-targeting. Oh yes. I haven't actually got to play striker with this yet, but I'm going to say yeah because everything of theirs targets. And if you do get rid of him, he's just going to send something on the field of the or it's either to the field of the graveyard or back to the hand I don't remember and, and it's upside down so I don't really want to feel like reading it and then I play the small nightmare package to out cards that's all they are are problem outers that's it for the links now we'll get to the invoked fusions play double mechaba he's part of the OTK which is really good or he helps just negate stuff for your opponent make it really hard to for them to play one Purgatrio, he's part of the OTK, or just Book of the Wall target. Invoked Rasion, Problem Louder. Like, if they have a Colossus on board, you just go, oh, Instant Fusion, make him, uh, bo Book of Moon it, go off. And then last but not least is Thousand Eyes Restrict, because stealing a monster is pretty good. Off to the side deck now. Warning, I do have one filler card until I get a third Lancia. So bear with me. But first off, Tinker Tops, one of the best side deck cards in the game right now. If you don't know what he does, get on my level. <laughs> get on my level. <laughs> uh, like I said, two Lancia. I don't have a third yet, and I'm going to secret both of these two out because I'm a rarity whore lately. So you're welcome. Yeah, bear with me until I do. <laughs> Triple Ibly, one Signet Mining as my filler card, and then one Mermaid. So why do you play these? So this is to go first. You'll summon her, link off into Mermaid, and summon her in the same column. So help make the Mech Knights go first in case you don't open Alistair. And then this is, if I don't throw it, this is just a Search Ibly. It's a filler card for now. Double Twin Twister, because back row is a, a thing that everyone hates. Last but not least, Triple Red Reboot, because I don't know if Altergeist and Paleo Frogs are going to be a thing yet because the format's still kind of new, but if they are, kind of prepared for them. All right, so no main or side deck super poly? Uh, I'm in on the card. How my extra deck is set up right now, it's three cards to out the one. So I'm not too fond of it, unless I take out extra deck room for something like Starving Venom or anything like that. All right, so Gary's gonna go ahead and showcase this combo for us. He's got the two cards you will need to facilitate this and four blank cards. So if you want to explain it from here, Gary. So you need any way, shape, or form of Alistair. So Magical Meltdown, Alistair, or Terraforming, which you play seven copies of. And then any Mech Knight. So there's a really good chance to do this. But to start off, you'll go Normal Summon Alistair. Effect. Add the Invocation. Link him off. Summon Tal Mirage. Now, if they have a column open, summon or a card in a column, summon Al Mirage in that column. If not, just set the invocation and then summon your Mech Knight. You don't like I'm, just for the video. I'm not going to show you the purple banish, yada yada yada. I'm just so just summon purple. Link to into Invoker Madness. Flip the invocation, banish Alistair and Almirage for Purgatrio. Because you fusion summoned, his effect will trigger. Discarding that. So any blank card? Any blank card. Wrong deck. To add either invocation or book of the law. But in this case we're going to add book of the law. 
then you'll activate this invocation, or add invocation, my bad. This invocation's effect. Put it back in the deck, add him back to hand. Alright, so right now you have five cards in hand. Five cards in hand. And two monsters in the field. Two monsters. Then you go invocation, and at this point, what I like to do is go chain, target, Purgatrio. So you discard Alistair to use his effect to boost Purgatrio by a thousand? And then it also makes Alistair recyclable for your next turn. Okay, so the Alistair will be in graveyard for you to banish. Yep. So then you have an invocation to use for next turn in case this doesn't work. Yep. And a, at least a 3300 attack Purgatrio. With a mecha buff. And then now this will trigger his effect again, because it's not a once per turn. Discarding another card. Four. The Book of the Law. So, before you even enter your battle phase, you have Alistair at 18, Mechabat at 25, Trigger Trio at 33, and at then least. 200 for every card they control. So if they control three cards, he's gaining another 600 attack boost. So then you're going to use him to attack every monster. Even if it's defense, he inflicts piercing damage, so... <laughs> <laughs> Trigger Trio is so good. Clear the board, swing in with these guys, Book of the Law for game. All right, and these other two blank cards could be anything you would need for any sort of removal to facilitate this OTK. Yep, this could be a kaiju, this could be instant fusion. Instant fusion would probably change it a little bit, but something to help out problematic cards you can still get away with too. All right, you got anything to say about the deck, Gary, before we close this out? Um, Pretty easy to learn. It doesn't take a very high skill level. The OTK potential is out there. It's pretty good. Like I said, uh, you play seven copies of Alistair, a lot of Mech Knight, so you have a good chance to draw this OTK alone. But other than that, it's a pretty good deck. I'm glad I put it blue eyes up for a while. <laughs> All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comment section below what you think of Gary's Invoke Mech Knight deck profile. Later, YouTube.